Hello everyone, it's me, 70 and welcome back to another YouTube video. So I've decided to stop playing Midnight Center because it's getting way too boring. So that's why I decided to play a different game called Dangerous Seduction. And I can just tell by these, these are very bad boys. Maybe criminals? Nah, who knows. So let's just get right into it. Whee, sorry. Stop getting distracted, girl, okay, Jesus. Let's see. Continue. Wait, what the heck? What the heck? No, thank you. I don't want any of those ads. I have no idea why it says continue the ad, but let's do the prologue. Well, I don't know what the heck that says. So I'm just going to ignore it. Dad, Mom, I'm here. I place my hands together in front of the graves where my mother and father are resting. I'm a little lonely, but I'm doing all right. I miss you so much. Today's a special day for me, so watch over me up there with mom. Okay, dad? Aww, her parents died. <sighs> Today I'm covering a fancy restaurant in Ikebukuru, my first assignment as a freelance journalist. I had always looked up to my journalist father, so I naturally followed in his footsteps as a writer. I had to overcome a lot, but today I'm finally standing at the start line of my journey. Damn it, I can say things right today. Ah! While I'm waiting for the light to change, one of the big screens on a tall building begins to play the news. With the interrogation of the Ikebe cabinet, tonight there will be a press conference in the Prime Minister's office residence. Oh, they picked a new Prime Minister? I remember how invested the Prime Minister my father was when he was alive. But while he was writing an article about the election, he was in an accident and... No, stop. Don't think about that right now. As though to distract me, the newscaster shifts to the next story. Our next story. The two suspects on the Interpol's most wanted list, Masahura Ryuzaki and Yasuma Arimura, are still on the run. According to the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, it is very likely that both suspects are armed and dangerous. I wonder what they've done. The news never said... The traffic light turns green and I step forward. Huh? It feels like someone is watching me. Unknown man. Whoa, what the hell wrong to your eyes, man? Tang I Man, I can't speak English today. Hmm. Hmm, is that man? When I look him in the eye, the man turns away. Hmm, maybe I'm imagining things. Or maybe not. I don't know. Starting across the intersection, I hear a car's tire screech loudly nearby. What? A car runs the red light, jumping the curb and comes hurtling toward towards me sorry the man driving the car looks locks eyes with me and glares i i can't get out of the way he's gonna crash into me i freeze in terror squeezing my eyes shut in that instant someone grabs my arm jerking me off my feet huh i hear a car breaking nearby and the people around me scream what i'm not in any pain and someone's holding me okay that's awkward I cautiously open my eyes. A tall man has his arms around me. He's pretty hot looking, but still. That cold face expression, I don't like it. Is he a criminal? Did he save me? When I hear the engine raving up and look over, the car that was about to run me over speeds off in a different direction. It almost crashed into me. It couldn't seriously have been targeting me, right? The man that saved me releases me silently. Whoa, he's so handsome. Wait, I have to thank him. Thank you, you saved my life. You're even dumber than I imagined. Wow, such a great hero. You're my hero. Huh? And to top it up, you have zero talent at handling dangerous situations. This is going to be difficult. What? Um, what are you? Mm. What? He pinches my cheek with his long fingers. Well, what are you doing? If you keep making that stupid face, you'll be dead in no time. Huh? He looks down at me with cold eyes, and I feel a shiver run down my spine. Hmm. He narrows his eyes, giving me a snide grin, and releases my cheek. Ow! What are you doing? I don't even know you. We'll just see how that long and high and mighty attitude of yours lasts. Huh? As he says this, he points his long fingers at me like he's holding up a, a gun. Sorry. Remember this. Next time we meet, you'll have no choice but to cling for me. Cling to me for dear life. Cling to him? Then he lowers his hand, flashes an arrogant smile, and walks away. 
Who was that guy? He was so rude and super scary. Next time we meet, you'll have no choice but to cling to me for dear life. Awkward. Next time, he said next time we meet. What does that mean? He looks so familiar. Could it be one of the suspects Interpol is looking for? Is it that obvious? No, there's no way he'd be out in public in broad daylight. You never know. The sun's already set by the time. I finish my interview and I bow deeply to the manager of the restaurant. Thank you for your time today. No, thank you for the lovely conversation. Oops. Oops. Oopsie. No, thank you for the lovely conversation. I'm looking forward to reading your article. Thank you. I leave the restaurant and step into the glass-walled elevator. The lights of the Tokyo are glittering all around me. I'm, s I'm glad my first interview was a success. I press the button to close the doors when a man slips inside. He's pretty cute. I can't help but old at the quite hot at the quite hot man. What are you looking at? The next thing I knew, the man's glaring at me. Ah! I was totally grinning at him. How embarrassing. I frantically try to make a conversation to make things less awkward. Which floor? The first floor. I press the button to the first for the first floor and the elevator slowly slides closed. We descended for a second when all of a sudden the elevator jerks to a stop. Huh? The elevator stopped. Get down. What? The man wraps his arms around me and pulls me down to the floor beneath him. Why? Bang. Oh, dude, are they shooting at us? What the hell? Eek. When I glance around, I notice tiny holes and cracks in the glass wall. What the hell is going on? Bang. Bang. What? Someone's shooting at us? In Japan? The man releases me and I'm still lying on the floor, opens up a laptop and starts to type away. What are you doing? Making the elevator take us to the first floor. If we stay, just, they'll just keep shooting at us. Can you do that? Shut up for a sec, dumbass. Did you just call me a dumbass? Oh, psych, bruh! Clunk. Huh? The elevator started to move again? Eek! The elevator suddenly jerks to life again and it takes me surprised and I tumble over it. Thud. Huh? I don't feel any pain at all. Don't fall over so easy. Are your legs just for decoration? Such a pain. Pain! If you're going to complain, at least stand up first. Ah, I'm totally sitting on him. Sorry. I quickly move away from him. Huh, this job's even more bothersome than I thought it'd be. What in the world is going on? Did you really make the elevator move? The man ignores my question and makes a sour expression. I can't believe they shot at me even with you here. They probably don't want to kill you yet, so relax. Um, what are you talking about? He didn't have time to respond. As we reached the first floor, they had the elevator door opens. Eh. Uh, over here. Oh, okay. I'm still puzzled as he takes my hand and begins to pull me outside. Well, this is awkward. Two men are waiting for us outside. What took you long? You were supposed to meet us here three minutes ago. Is that the guy that saved me earlier? Quit complaining. They started shooting at me even though I had the key with me. How stupid can they be? Good work. You seem to enjoy yourself. I'm glad. He looks like a middle schooler. That's all I'm saying. No offense. Not. This man, who I've never seen before, flashes a breezy smile. Try not to make any careless mistakes from now on. I don't need you to tell me that. We've been planning this for two months. You better try your damn best not to hold me back. What is this talk about plans and meetings? Then it dawns on me. The man that saved me in the elevator also looks like one of the suspects. Could it be... Do they have anything to do with all the crazy things that have been happening today? Hey, you. Y yes? If you don't want to die, follow us. What kind of terrifying line is that? I, I can't. Even if you can't, it would be much wiser for you to follow us. Huh? Let me put it this way. The bad guys are trying to capture you. If they get to you, they're going to kill you, just like they killed your father. Did he just say... Capture me? But why? And my father was... Killed? No, 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 no way. I refuse to believe these people. So, yeah, let's go. He goes to grab my hand, but I shake it off. Then I spot an unfamiliar object. He, he has a gun? I think back on what I saw in the news this morning. The suspects are armed, and this person has a gun at his waist. N no! I have to escape. I turn around and sprint off as fast as I can. Exactly according to plan, almost alarmingly so. Hey, kid, go chase after her. Huh, no need. I'm already one step ahead of her. And what's that supposed to mean? Ha <sighs> ha. 
I made it to the police station. Is something the matter? Ha, uh, um, oh, the most wanted poster. Um, I just saw, I just saw two people that like the guys on this poster. Is that so? When I turn around, I see a well-dressed older man standing there smiling at me. There's something suspicious about it. Why would he be smiling? Oh, Mr. Superintendent, wh what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. You just say you saw the suspects on this poster, right? Yeah. She's an important witness. Might I take her in for questioning? You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that yourself, sir. It's fine. Come get inside the car. Thank you. Thank goodness I'm saying that I'm with the police. Are you sure about that? Because I feel something fishy is going on. I get in the back seat with the superintendent. You're Yuri Komori? Uh, why does he know my name? Where's the hidden room? Hidden room? Your father was the key. Now he's dead, and you will be too if you don't answer. Did he just say my father was killed? Wait, did he just threaten me? My father passed away in an accident. Plus, I've never heard about any of this. You must be mistaken. Mm. The inspector grins nastily and grabs my wrist. Ow! He tightens his grip on my wrist and I grimace. I don't want to. I don't ha. Eh. I don't want to have to be rough. Tell me where it is and you can go free. Wh what the hell is going on? Um, this is a misunderstanding. My father never said anything about this. Really? I have plenty of time. You can tell me all about it. Wait a second. What is all this? Why would the superintendent of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Force be threatening me? Where is he taking me anyway? I remember what the suspicious man from earlier said. The bad guys are trying to capture you. If they get to you, they're going to kill you, just like they killed your father. Is fi if that's true, I feel the blood drain from my face. My hand begins to tremble, and I squeeze it with my other hand to steady it. Urgh! I hear the superintendent's fools vibrate in his jacket pocket. Yes, I have the girl. Don't worry, I'll make her talk. Oh god, I have to get away. Although the car's still going at full speed, I try to force the door open, but it's locked. It won't budge. And what do you think you're doing? Even if you get out, the police cars behind us will get you. And if your screams get out, who do you think will believe? Your word or mine? Well, you already know the answer, so be quiet. Well, if I don't do something, just then I hear a stackety voice over the car's radio. Sir, where are you going with the key? You're going in the opposite direction. What? For a second, a displeased look flickers across the superintendent's face. Hey, you! What? You're going the wrong way. Driver, dot, dot, dot. You! Are you even listening to me? Yes, we'll just arrive in a moment. The driver looks at me in the eye and winks. Sorry, guys, but I have to end the episode here. So if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I will see you around. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> もちろん、彼の。これで契約終了だ。じゃあな。